Hello, hello, good evening. <clears throat> hey there, welcome. Good hey, good evening. All right, so really nice uh, to have you here. A ver si, a ver si se conectan ahora como es el partido. <laughs> Quién sabe, but anyway, so it's really nice to be here. So there you go. So welcome. Here we have well Blanquita, Carlos, Christian, and Maria Elena. So welcome, guys. Okay. So let's cross our fingers to see if the if the rest connects. I hope so. And well, first of all, I wanted to thank you. If, because uh, while well, I was checking that you completed like the, the test and everything, so good grades, right? I was checking the, the, the results for the test and I can see that uh, you actually did a good job uh, in the test. So that's good, right? That was really good. And that, right, pretty much um, also get really good job with the homework assignments. So it was all really good. So congratulations on that. Okay, so let's see. Let's good see. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. It's nice Thanks. to you here. Good. All righty. So let's get down to business. First things first, let's start with today's class. So let's start by taking attendance. So let me see. Okay. We oui, wait. Oui. And let's see. So today is September the second already. All right. So here we go. Thursday, September the second. So time has flown. I guess that eh, well it was yesterday when we started and look at us while right? we are just right after the first half of the module right officially we're going to start with the third week today so there you go right we're about uh, to finish basically we're just missing two more weeks and then we'll be done so nice okay then so all right, let's take the attendance then. So let me see. So we start with Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much, Beatriz. Then we go with uh, Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Blanquita, nice. Uh, then we go with Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernandez. Present. All right. Thank you very much, Carlos. Good. Then we have Carlos Javier Crespin Lopez. Carlos Javier, not here yet. So then we continue with Cristian Ernesto Lazo Flores. Christian, Christian, not here, pero aquí estaba, pero ya no. So maybe later he'll connect. So let's see, next one. We continue with Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Grisel, nice. Uh, we continue with Ember Giovanni Polio Morales. Ember Giovanni, Ember Giovanni, not here. All right, not yet. So then we have Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Francisca Elizabeth, not here. Okay, not present today. So then we have Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. Jose Eduardo, Jose Eduardo, not here. 
Okay. So we continue with Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Juan Carlos Rivas. Teacher, good evening. I'm here, Christian Lasso. All right. Christian, thank you very much. So nice. Christian, Christian. All right, there you go. So Christian here, Juan Carlos Rivas, not here. We continue. Karen Vanessa Morataya. Present. All right, thank you very much, Karen. Good. Uh, then we continue with Luis Alfonso Martinez. Luis Alfonso, not here. No, all right. So let's see. Then we continue with uh, Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Teacher, I'm here. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right, so we have Juan Carlos Rivas, Joel. All right, Present. excellent, nice, Juan Carlos. Very good. And also, well, Maria Elena, I know that you're working, so. Tiene no problemas con el audio. Ahí está aprendiendo que ahí está, ah, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, nice. Yes, she's here. So she's sending us messages that she's here. So nice. So then we continue with Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Nelson Gavarrete, not here. Va a haber el partido, dice Nelson. No, mentira. Let's see. Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Thank you very much, Omar. And we continue with Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Desde el estadio. <laughs> yeah, en directo del estadio. Let's see. So, Oscar not here, okay. And the last one, Jenny Suleima Santos. Jenny Suleima, I guess she's not here yet. Okay, so that was it. Oh, Jenny Suleima, I guess she's just connecting here. So, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so no, that's fine. Okay then, so let's get uh, started with today's class. Today we're going to start a new unit. So as I was saying at the beginning, we're just going to start unit three, right? So we are, we just uh, cross like a uh, half of the complete course now. And let's see, before we actually start with this uh, unit, let me see. Let's have or let's complete a little activity. And all right, so let me see. I'm not sure if you have played this before. So first of all, we are going to play in two teams. So I'm going to create the teams. So let's see. All right. So we have in team number one, we have a Blanquita, Carlos Antonio, Grisel, Juan Carlos, Karen, and Omar. So you're going to be team number one. Team number two, we have Ana Beatriz, Christian, e, I, Jesus, I always forget Karen is e, in two devices. <laughs> Let's see, so I'm going to move Karen. I'm sorry, Karen. So then Karen, you're going to be group number two, all right? So Karen is in group number two, good. So we have Karen, Maria Elena, and Jenny, all right? So you are group number two, or nine. All right, let's see, good. Though I'm not sure how this group is going to be. Um, let's do something. Voy a mover a alguien también. Let's see, del grupo uno, porque tengo listeners in el grupo dos. So just to make it a little bit eh, more balanced. 
So, Juan Carlos, lo voy a mover al grupo 2, all right? So, um, just remember now you're in group number 2. All right. So, let's see. Let's start then with group number 1. Eh, Blanquita, Carlos, Grisel, and Omar. So, what are we going to do? I'm going to share my screen so that you can see this page. And this is what we are going to do. Have you ever played this before? Have you seen this before or no? No, it's a, a new thing. Okay, good. So the name of this activity is Sushi Spell. So this is a vocabulary game, very similar to what we played uh, with Worship, if you remember. So the difference here is we're going to see the letters, but this time, Letters are going to move like they were like in a sushi, in sushi dishes, right? But they're going to be moving all around the screen. So let me show you so that we can have a better idea. So this is how it's going to work. Now, here we have different letters with different colors. And the color is what is going to give you a, well, as many points as you, well, as the color indicates, right? So you gotta think fast because the letters are going to be moving. And if you need, for example, a double T here, but then in, in, in the time that you are using to complete the word, you might miss the letter, right? So you gotta be, or you gotta try to be really fast. So for example, I can start with something here, like for example, a color, red, right? So once I have my word, I can click where it says submit. So you see, it gives me different points depending on the color for the letter. The longer the word, the more uh, possibilities you have to get more points, of course, but also if you make words with these colors with blue, with purple, or with this, well, I, I see this is like, I don't know, to me they are both purple, but anyway. So with these colors here, eh, this is the amount of you know, points that you can get, right? So for example, if I make this word, eh, it's just three letters, but the colors are really good. So they're gonna give me, a, well, 10 points just for that word because the letters were good, right? Were difficult. And that's it. You cannot make words just with two letters. If I type no, for example, I'm not going to take it. And I'm going to receive this message here in, that there was a mistake. If I want to erase, I get, wait, wait. If I want to erase, then. Let's say that I uh, selected two ends. So I want to clear one. So I click where it says clear. You see? So it erases the letter. So I can erase doing this. Pero las que borré, o sea, ya no las puedo volver a ocupar. So they are grayed out here. So I cannot select them anymore. So be careful if you erase some letters, all right? Because you are not going to use them again. Okay, then. so let's see. We're going to do the same as with the previous time. Someone is going to drive and the rest of the team is going to help this person to spell or to get as many words as you can. So let's see. From group number one, volunteer to drive. Volunteer to be uh, the representative. No volunteers. Let's see then. So let's have Carlos as a driver for team number one. So let's see. So I'm going to give you, Carlos, control of the screen. So let's see. All right, you let me know once you see the notification there. 
I guess you're gonna see it there. What color? Oh no, no. First you need to accept to control my screen. Ya va a salir como un mensajito que acepte el control de la pantalla. No. No, no. Let's see. Oh, ahí está, ahí está. Oye, sí. So you have control of the screen now. Pues sí, ya puede mover el mouse, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yes. Okay, you, you click on replay. Ajá. Uh -huh. I don't remember <laughs> what number of group. <laughs> you are in group number one, Priscilla. Okay, okay. Yes. Thanks. So let's see, group number one. Come on, come on. Uh -huh. 10, submit. Excellent, very good. El equipo, el equipo, le puede ayudar. Ah, es de continuar. Yes. <laughs> you continue. Okay. Ah, ah. Needs to have more than two letters. Necesita tener más de dos letras. So, try again. When it says try again. Erase. Cut. Cut. Omar says cut. Uy, hay que borrar primero. Clear, clear, clear. Uh -huh. Oh, we use the letters already. Se no, ahí, ahí red, viene otra. Red. Red. Uh -huh. red All right. No, Birds. red. Uh -huh. Cut. Uh -huh. Pink. Cut, very good. The color red. Pink. What else? Red. Pink. Uh -huh. Red. Red. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. Oh, yeah. Don't get yellow. Where, where, where? The color yellow. Nah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> nice. Good. What else? More. More. Pink. Oh. Um, we in the R? There is no R. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, mount, mount, uh, mount, uh -huh. quickly. Ay, ay, ay. So, let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's see, let's see. So, wait, let me, let me regain control of the screen, Charlie. Let's see. No sabía que iba a continuar ahí perdimos No no digo No no es que él lo apretó sin querer, but no. Yes. So, yeah, so no. If we're going to have a second round, vamos a tener un segundo round, pero después del grupo dos. So okay. let's see. So in the previous one, you got 12 points. Hasta ahorita llevan 12 puntos. So that was okay. good, I would say. So that was nice. Now. Let's see, group number two, but let me just restart it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> ya la hora de estar manejando lo de otra cosa. <laughs> so let's see. So group number two, volunteer to drive in group number two. Volunteer to drive. Or should I select? So, no volunteers. So then I'll select, let's see. Um, Jenny, so you are going to drive. Let's see. <laughs> All right. So Jenny, in this group, we have Ana Beatriz, Karen, Maria Elena, and Jenny, and let's see, and Juan Carlos, but uh, Juan Carlos just left, I guess. So let's see. So anyway, I'm going to give control of my screen. Oh, Jose Eduardo. So Jose Eduardo is going to be part of team number two as well. <laughs> Aprovechando. Okay, <laughs> nice. okay, Jose Eduardo. So Jenny, now... Uh, you have control of the screen, I guess. Por ahí le va a aparecer una notificación, Jenny. Sí. Uh, 
All right. ¿Se pueden repetir las mismas? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. All right. There you go. Team number two. Jenny Pink. Pink. Here. Pink. Pink. Here. ¿Cómo? Here. Uh -huh. Oh, ear. Ah, uh, ear. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y. Ajá. Y. Abajo está. Y la R, ajá, E A R. R, there you go, submit. Ajá. Está lento mi internet. Ah. Oh my God. Fue. There you go, It's nice. What else? No sé, ah, teacher. Ahí está. Red. There you go. Red, the color. Ah, ta, to, ajá. Uh -huh. I we're missing a nail. Tall, very good. <laughs> Submit. Nice, very nice, good. You still go. have time. Go, Jenny, go. Amarillo. Uh -huh. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> The yellow one, oops. Clear, ah, clear. Clear, clear. Ah, clear, clear, clear. G? G? Oh. Ah, G. Le marco, teacher, y no se ah, va. El internet, <laughs> me imagino. All right. No, oh, no. All right. ¿Dónde está el Ay, ay, ay. No, no, no. Six, five, It's four. eight. It's eight. Let's see. Ah, ah. Ay, 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 ay. No, so let's no, see. Mal no, estrategia. No me funciona. <laughs> Le daba y pensaba y después aparecía. Oh my God, no. So let's see. But don't worry. This is round number one. So don't worry. We, we can take it or we can improve this score. So let's see. So, group number one, 12 points. Group number two, seven points. But we are still going to play one more round. So, let's see. Group number one, otro voluntario, o seguimos con Carlos. Think about the connection. Let's see. the best connection? Uh -huh. If not, we continue then with Carlos. Okay. All right. Good. So, safe driver then. ¿En qué estamos? <laughs> no sé qué estamos ahorita. Oh my God. We're still, we're going to play a second round, Blanquita. So, it's your turn again. Okay. So, here we go. So, Charlie. Let me see, wait. So I'm gonna give you control of the screen again. So there you go, Carlos, all right. Por ahí le va a aparecer la notificación. Okay, nice. So go. All right, there you go. So this is your chance. Uh, group number one. All right, they're repeating the same strategy. All right. Very good. What else? Red. H E L. Mm, we're missing a nail. Lleva double L. Uh huh. Uh huh. What else? It. Ki. All right, good Key. word. Okay, now it. Eat. Eat. The verb. Uh -huh. Excellent. Good. Nice. Do, 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 door. Door. 
very good nice excellent good wow h f e f e fake i don't know oh yeah yeah you <laughs> uh huh. Come on, it's still time. Fail. Oops, Fema. Mm -mm. Not a word. Click again. Uh huh. Say e clear Jerry? there and uh -huh. say S A Y. F A Y. <laughs> I PC. Oh. <laughs> wow, but 22 points. That was good. So, group number one, 12 points plus 22. So, that's 34 points in total. So, very good. 34 points. So, let's see. Group number two. So, let me see. All right, cambiamos de driver por la conexión. <laughs> All right, nice. So let me see. It can be Karen or Ana Beatriz. Your call. Okay, teacher. Okay, Ana. Okay, Beatriz. Very good. Let's see, Beatriz. So there you go. I'm giving you. Okay, now there you go. Beatriz has control of the screen now. So you click where it says replay. Um, All right. yeah. um, there you go. Okay, team number two. Okay, you repeat that. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> They're following <laughs> the same path, okay? Oh, you know, <laughs> it's a submit. Agregue la de otra vez. Uh -huh, very good. Submit. Nice. Good. Uh -huh. Please. What else? Uh -huh. I it. Mm -mm. All right. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not the right order. Let's see. Yeah. B E A R. B E A R. Bear, the animal. B. -E no, no, no. B. -E. No, erase it. Uh huh. B. E. Uh -huh. E. No, that's A. E. No, you didn't have to delete the, the other one. Is this E, Tisha? Yes, it's an I. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Oops. B E E in English. B E. No right. Uh huh. E A. Uh huh. A A A B C. R R. Yes, submit, submit. Nice. And ay, 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 time. Oh my God. Oops. Yeah, this was really fast. Okay. So, team number two, second round, 10 points. So, total score for team number two, 17 points. So, winners, team number one with 34 points. So, there you go. <laughs> Okay, nice. Le debemos ahí el, el viaje a Cancún. All right, nice. Okay, then. <laughs> so, there you go. Now, this is just another alternative, right? The, another game that you can use to practice vocabulary. And it's difficult when you're just seeing, sometimes we see the words, but when you are like trying to click on the letters, then that's the difficult part. Actually, you feel the pressure, right? But anyway, um, I don't know if I have a recommended this page before, 
But if you feel like giving it a try, if the name of, the, of this page is the British Council. So if you type in Google British Council Teens, you're going to see, wait, you're going to see this uh, interesting website in which you can practice. Uh, this website is from, well, England, right? So it's like for real, the British Council. Uh, so here you can have some practices. For example, if you go to skills, uh, you want to practice listening. So you go to listening and then you can select like your level, right? A1, A2. Right now you are in between an A1 and an A2. So you can check, for example, the A2 listenings. And here you can have some, well, a lot of practices, right? You can have this uh, listenings in which you can hear the audio and you can complete some exercises based on the audio. You can even download the, the audios, right? If you want to practice or if you want to take them with you in your cell phone, uh, you can do it, right? So there you have, PDF documents, you can do it here, uh, the practice online, et cetera, et cetera. And there is a part here where it says study break, uh, where you can just uh, have some games. Mm, let me see, Ooh, but it's not over here, but it should be, it should appear there. So, oh no, here it's in vocabulary, vocabulary games. So you can practice this. You can practice something about grammar. You can check some exams, et cetera, et cetera. So fully recommended uh, this website, uh, thebritishcouncil.org. So there you go. Okay, then. So now that we have a uh, review this, let's see. Let's go back to our topics in the book. So let's see. Here. Okay, so today we are starting unit three, as I mentioned at the beginning, and we're going to be dealing uh, with some issues, issues that we might have about machinery. Machinery, the well, all the different types of machines we can have at work. That could be simple machines like printers, computers, ACE, uh, well, air conditioners, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera to more complex machines, like or more specialized machines uh, that you could use uh, depending on, well, your job position or depending on the area that you're working, right? So here we're going to see some expressions that we use to describe uh, issues with machinery and also some expressions we might get to use when uh, solving this type of situations. So here we have Ramon and Dorian talking about some problems with a machine. I'm gonna read it first, and then some of you are going to help me to read this conversation. So here we go. It says, thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem, someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I have a look at it. You're right, you know, it doesn't work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that's the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make or once in a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot, right? So there you go. There were like a couple of mistakes here in the conversation. It should say here, instead of very, verify, not just very, right? Verify, that's what it should be there. And let me see to check the brushes once in a, well, once a fortnight, that's cool. Yeah, so we can say that. Now, 
As you can see, there are some expressions in bold letter. So first of all, any new words in, in this conversation? Any new words or new expressions? Or no, pretty understandable. Uh, a coming. Uh -huh. Where? And is uh, Ramon you for coming, Dorian? Uh, thank you. Coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. It's like uh, this person is thanking uh, Dorian for arriving to the place to check it. Gracias por venir, right? Thank you for coming. Ah, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, coming is venir. Okay. Gracias por venir. Thank you. Right? Thank coming. you for coming. Yes. There you go, Nelson. Uh -huh. Any other word? Thank you. All right. Nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Then we have this expression. I have a look at it. I have a look at it. It's like, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it for you, right? So I'll have a look at it. Y le voy a echar un vistazo, we would say it in Spanish, right? I'll have a look at it. Okay. Then we have, the, um, okay. let's see. Well, something that we would use to, I need to, I need to take, or I need to, I need to, okay, wait. There you go. I need to do something, I need to take, I need to cut, I need to fix, et cetera, et cetera, something we would use as well. A minor fault, a fault is a, a problem, right, in this case. So it's a minor problem. And speed things up. Speed things up is like to make something go faster, or to make, a, um, to expedite the process to do something. Um, apresurar o a, eh, un proceso, right? So I can say speed things up, para hacer algo más rápido. We need to speed things up. So like, it's like a synonym to say, we need to hurry with this. And Fortnite, what's a Fortnite? No juego, no van a decir que un juego. <laughs> what's Fortnite, what's the meaning of Fortnite? Any ideas? No. Fortnite is a period of time. So every two weeks, that's a fortnight. In Spanish, we would say it's like a quincena, right? Cada quince días, that's a fortnight. Some people say every two weeks or bi-weekly. That's another way we would say this. It check the brushes bi-weekly. That means every two weeks. Or just using the expression a fortnight, right? Once a fortnight. So there you go. And that's it. So let me see. Let's hear some of you. So let's see. Elizabeth, you are going to be Ramon and Jose Eduardo. You're going to be Dorian. Okay, teacher. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Jose Eduardo. Oh, nice. Um, so, okay, uh, no problem. So many reports. About someone? Someone reported? Report, reported? Report, reported. Uh -huh. at, at food. Fault. Fault. Uh -huh. On all of your mention, I have to look at it. On oh, one of your machines, machines, one of your machines. One of you machines. I have a look at I it. Have, I have a look at it. it. At it. There you go. You are right. You know, is that no work properly? Properly. And it's my... Properly. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. mm, probably and it makes a strange noise. 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 This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes, complex machine. I have a lot machines. Uh -huh. I have I have a lot. I have of, a lot. I have a lot. I have no. Complex. Have a lot. Have a lot. Uh -huh. Of. Uh, Components. 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 Uh -huh. I need to take the uh, metal. <laughs> no sé cómo se pronuncia. Metal. 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 Metal casing. Casing. Casing of. Uh -huh. To very it is. To I... buy in that one. If it is, it is a um, minor, 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 uh -huh. uh, put a uh, fault or what? Fault. Fault, fault or what? There you go. I understand. If that is the cat. Case, case when we need need to need to need to speed try take things things think things get up. Repeat, teacher, please. To speed things up. Is a thing it's up. I commerce a recommend recom recommends recommend. checking the uh -huh. recommend checking the bruise brushes brushes ons, once once uh, uh, once. Mm -hmm. I fourteen a fortnight fortnight to uh -huh. make sure sure they sure they they did not down they're not down uh -huh. they did not down okay and what the things they are. Ya no sigue, teacher. Ya no hay más. Ah, yeah. We will. <laughs> Only one. We have to. Uh -huh. We will have to extend the. Extend the shoot. The shot. The shot. There you go. Okay. All teacher, right. sabe, sabe, no había conocido a José Eduardo. <laughs> ok <laughs> compañero nuevo <laughs> Uy, chica, ¿qué, le, ¿qué le habrá querido decir? Okay. no lo había conocido en serio <laughs> Ay, ya, All right. gracias <laughs> gracias <laughs> alright so thank you very much guys good so we gotta practice and gotta try to join sounds right and try to speed up right try to speed up so let's see, uh, Ramon, let me see, e Christian, and Dorian, Karen. Excellent. All right, let's see. Ready, uh, Karen? Yes. Okay. Thank you for your coming, Karen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Karen. No problem. Someone reported a fallen one of your machines. I'll hide to look. I have uh -huh. a look at it. Uh -huh. Nice. You are right. You know, it does not work properly. And it made a strange noise. Strange. Strange noise. 
This is a complex machine. So maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I components. Need to... Components. Uh -huh. Repeat. Components. Components. Excellent. I need to take the metal casing of to bury if it's case enough uh -huh. to bury if it is a minor fault or what? Minor, a minor fault or what? A minor fault or what? Mm -hmm. I understand. If that in case that if that is the case, if we that's the case. If that is the case, we uh, need to speed things up. I recommend it. I recommend, recommend. It. Uh -huh. check the brushes once a fortnight mm -hmm. to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. The shot. The shot. Shot. There you go. Shot. shot. Nice. Excellent. There you go. Good. Nice. Very good. Teacher, teacher uh -huh. question. Tell uh, me. Bueno, en la pronunciación. Uh -huh. eh, este último shot. Shot. Es, uh -huh. es casi similar a. Eh, no sé si es lo mismo la misma pronunciación que shot, pero de tiro. Shot. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm, similar. If we were to um, explain this using phonemic symbols, you would say that they are different. Esta palabra es más parecido al sonido de una A, no es exactamente una A, que tampoco es shat, ¿verdad? Pero es okay. eh, un sonido vocal que de hecho se representa con una casita eh, en inglés. Es como una combinación entre una O y una A, es una A cerrada, digamos. Shat, 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 my shat. Okay. El otro, del de disparo o de tiro, o de hecho también de, de una bebida, también puede ser un shot, right? Correcto. Es una O, ¿verdad? Para los que no entendían bien con el del tiro, le, le, le doy también al otro ejemplo. No, nah, mentira. So, <risa> <risa> so it's a shot, shot. Y ese sí es un sonido de una O, casi tal cual como lo diríamos en español. Shot, ¿verdad? Shot. So that's the difference. Excellent teacher. Thank nice. You. Good, Christian. All right. So let's see. One more clear. So Ramon, Oscar, and Dorian. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Carlos. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oscar. I am Ramon. Yes. Okay. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Some report a foul. Reported? Reported a foul. Phone? On, on, on one of your machine. I will uh, look at, at it. Uh, contraction. I'll, I'll have a look at it. I'll? Uh -huh. I'll have. Uh, I, I have a, a, a look at it. A look at it. A look at it. There you go. Look at it. Okay. You are right. You know, it does not work properly. And I meet in, it, and it I, makes, in, I make a strange noise. It makes a strange noise. It makes a strange noise. Mm -hmm. This is complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex, complex machine. Complex have machines. A lot, mm -hmm. uh, uh, have a lot of the components. Components. Components, components. Mm -hmm. I need to take the metal casing or of yes. the casing. Metal uh -huh. casing of metal the case. metal casing. Uh -huh. Of to bury it, it if it is a mere a minor fault or or what? 
Mm -hmm. I understand. If that is the case, we need to expect thin, thin, thin ups. I recommend things up. Things up. I recommend check the brushes one hour for a night to make sure. Once a fortnight. One hour for a night to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to ex expand the, sh the shot. Nice, very good, the shot, good. Right, nice, good. So we're getting there, we're getting there, nice. One more, let's see who's, let me see over there, Grisel. So Grisel, you are going to be Ramon and Jenny, you're going to be Dorian. Okay, teacher. All right, let's see. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem, someone report a fall Report it. One, report it. Uh -huh. A fall on one of your machines. I have a look at it. You are right. You know, is that not work properly? And it makes a strange noise. It makes. This, it makes a strange make, noise. It makes a strange noise. These are complex machines, so maybe we'll need some time. Yes. Complex machines have a lot of components. components. I need to take components. 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 There you go. I need, uh -huh. I need to take the metal casing of uh -huh. two, very if it is very a fine. minor fault. Uh -huh. Or what? A minor fault. Minor fault. Minor fault. Uh -huh. Minor fault. Or what? Mm -hmm. I understand. If that is the case, we need to spend things Sp up. Speed things up. Speed things up. Uh -huh. I recommend it. check the brushes. I recommend. One, I recommend check the brushes. 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 Once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to expand the shot. Extend the shot, extend the shot. The shot. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, good, nice. Okay, a couple of things related to this uh, conversation. There are a couple of sounds that are, let's say confusing, that might be confusing here. First of all, uh, we have this word, reporting, reporting. Usually we tend, since we speak Spanish, we tend to use uh, the ending ed, reported. Mm -mm. In English, and probably you have seen this before, we might have sometimes problems to pronounce the ed because we are not sure how we actually have to pronounce it. A veces nos confundimos en cómo pronunciar esos, esos, esas terminaciones en ED, right? que bien pueden ser del pasado o un participio pasado, o que incluso lo vemos en algunos adjetivos. So, y something for sure, no se pronuncian nunca ED, right? So, nunca va a sonar ED. ¿Cómo pueden sonar? They might sound as a T, as a D, or as ID, right? We keep, I went with capital letter, ID, right? So this is the only way in which we could pronounce these endings. So I say, for example, these words, and they sound different. Las puedo escribir igual, es el mismo ID, pero la pronunciación es diferente. Worked, worked, t, right? Suena como una T. Worked, played, played. It's a D, played, played. And the last one, invited, 
invited. So, same happens here. Reported, reported, right? Invited. But it's always eh, these three sounds. Entre esos tres sonidos, eh, anda la cosa, ¿no? Nunca va a sonar worked, played, invited, uh -uh. eso, no way, Jose. ¿De qué depende la pronunciación? De la última consonante que tenga el verbo o la raíz del verbo. Si ustedes me preguntan a mí, yo mismo no me aprendí estas pronunciaciones así. ¿Por qué no? Porque las reglas son un poquito confusas y no nos es no nos vamos a acordar de esa regla a la hora de estar hablando, right? O a la hora de estar leyendo algo, vamos a estar, vamos a estar, ah, no, pero es que como termina en D, como termina en consonante, no sé, no, no vamos a estar haciendo eso, es mentira. So, ¿qué es lo que hice yo? Listening, right? Eh, exposing or getting exposed to the language, right? And paying attention to the pronunciation of common words. Ahora, hoy en día, gracias a, a la tecnología, al internet, a Pinterest, a YouTube, a todo, ya están, eso, de hecho se las voy a compartir en el grupo, eh, mejor, y ya hay listas de palabras, de, de las palabras comunes que van con cada sonido, right? con un sonido como a T, con un sonido como a D, y el sonido como al ID, right? entonces ustedes solo se las memorizan. Right, so that's pretty much what you have to do. You don't have to be thinking that much about the rules. Now, I will share the rules too, so that you can take a look at them, but you'll see that they are a little bit, or they might be a little bit confusing, but you'll see. Let's see, e Elizabeth? Sí, aquel día nos dijo que nos iba a compartir otra cosa y no la compartió. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <risa> que ya ni me acuerdo qué es. Así como nos puso hoy Puchica en el grupo, acuérdeme, teacher, póngame, acuérdese de mandar el tema. <risa> que no entendí. No, pero es que, no, es que Puchica, no, pero bueno. mire, no, no vi a qué hora. Quizá no era para el grupo. Seguramente. Eh, híjole, ya lo voy a borrar. Era para otro grupo. Eso fue ah, para... caray. Era para, era para lo vimos, otro Ya lo vimos, ya lo vimos. Ya, yo me quedé. ¿Por qué lo habrá puesto? Pero bueno. Pero menos mal fue eso. Menos mal. Pudo haber sido peor. <risa> no, 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 yo sé, usted es un pan de Dios. Sí, yo soy bien humildita. No me moleste. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So, there you go. I promise I will send it. Te lo prometo, se lo mando antes de dormir. No. There you go. Ok, si no, que pierda el Salvador hoy. No, me <laughs> Nice. Ok, then. So, it's almost nine. Before we continue with this, y I will take attendance, all right? Antes de seguir con, con algunos de los sonidos de acá, y I need to take the attendance. So let me see. Here we go. All right. So same thing, guys. Once you listen to your name, just say present and try to turn on your camera if possible. So here we go. Ana Beatriz Campo de Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Beatriz. Y next, Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice, Blanquita. Sí. Good. Ay, tengo mala la conexión. Yeah, ya sí. la escuchamos ahí. Sí, que no oigo bien. Como que se les le corta. Ok, nice. Let's see, Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you very much, Carlos. We continue with Carlos Javier Crespin. Present, present teacher. Right. Thank you very much, Carlos. Good. So we continue with Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Christian. We continue with Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. 
All right, thanks, Grisel. Let's see next, Ember Giovanni Polio. Ember, 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 not here, okay. So we continue with Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much, Eli, very good. Y next, Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you very much, Jose Eduardo. Y we continue with Juan Carlos Rivas, Joel. JC, Juan Carlos. All right, he probably lost the connection. So we go with Karen and Vanessa Morataya. Uh, present. All right, thank you very much, Karen. Next, Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present teacher, good evening, everybody. Good evening, welcome. Ya lo estábamos extrañando, Luis. There you go. Le cree. Ah, me imaginé. Qué bárbaro. But nice, honest man. Okay, so let's see. Next person. I can lie in it. <laughs> good, there you go. That speaks good about you. Nice, Luis. So next person, we have Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Well, Maria Elena is working, pero ahí está eh, conectada. So yes, let's see. Next, we have y Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Present chair. All right, thank you very much, Nelson. So we continue with Omar Francisco Hernandez. I'm sorry, teacher, in the problem con connection. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry, Nelson. I know that you were having some problems, so that, that's okay. So let's Listen. see. All right, thank you, Omar, very good. Okay. And then we continue with okay. Oscar Alonso Villatoro. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Oscar. And Last but not least, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. All right, thank you very much, Jenny. Okay, now, uh, let's see, Ooh, let me go back here. Here we go. So, another thing, uh, contractions. Every time that you can make a contraction, do it, go for it. I'll, I'll have a look. I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it. So a use it, right? That helps you to sound more fluent. And it sounds like if you are speaking faster. So take advantage of contractions. Siempre que puedan, utilicen contracciones. Al menos a la hora de hablar. Y a la hora de escribir. Depends, right? It depends on what you're doing or whom are you writing to. But if you're speaking, use contractions if you can. Be careful also with the final sounds. Aquí, por ejemplo, no decimos, it make a strange noise. Mm, it make, no, it makes, right? It makes a, de hecho, se une el sonido acá, esta S, con la A que sigue. It makes a strange noise. It makes a, right? So, that's why it's important to mark the ending sound, especially for the third person singular and the simple past, right? And let me see here, same, right? To speed things, things up, things up. And that was it. Por aquí, este, estábamos leyendo textualmente donde decía case enough to vary if Pero aquí se comieron, bueno, escribieron mal la palabra, tendría que haber sido to verify, para verificar, to verify if it is a minor fault or what. So that's the thing, right? And then the rest, I guess you did good. Ah, machine, machine, right? Machine. Y we have these words this sound, right? T-shirt, machine, right? 
T-shirt, machine, same sound, shh, right? Shh. Tampoco no me t-shirt, t-shirt es una camiseta. So, a la cada rato es me dicen camiseta en vez de teacher, teacher, right? That's a different thing. Teacher, teacher, ch, 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 right? The other one is t-shirt, t-shirt. So it's different, right? There you go. All right. So, now that we clarify something about pronunciation here, let's get down to business. Now, here we have some questions. What seems to be the problem with the machine? What, do, what is what they say about the machine? What was the problem? Volunteer. Me teacher, the, uh -huh. strange, the strange noise. Ah, it had a strange noise, right? So, um, we don't know what's causing that noise. What is the recommendation that Dorian uh, provides? Uh, let's see. Check the branch ones uh, for nights. Ah, fortnight. To, fortnight. to check the brushes once a fortnight, right? The brushes, uh, what's a brush? What do you think it's a brush? Someone? Brush. Uh-huh. What's that? What's the meaning of brushes? Is uh como se cursa el teacher? No. It's a machine. It's a part of the machine. Um sorry. No, no not sure. Okay. Someone else? Alguien? Brushes. Women do use brushes, right? With when using makeup. Cepillosos. Cepillo, brocha. brocha, exactly. So cepillo, brochas, right? So in terms of a machine, it could be that it's a, these things, maybe it's a cleaner or something. It depends on the machine. So that is the problem, right? So clean, right? You check them. So there you go. Okay, now I have a little video for you since we're talking about, about troubleshooting. The process of finding a mistake or to find a problem eh, in a machine or in a, in a computer, um, even with internet, sometimes we call Tigo, right? Hey, I don't have internet, what's going on, right? Pero para cobrar son bueno, ¿verdad? <laughs> so when you do that, they sometimes give you troubleshooting, right? And they tell you, unplug the modem, turn it off, then wait for some minutes, then turn it on. Lo mismo que dicen siempre, apaga el modem y lo vuelve a encender, right? So uh, that's troubleshooting, right? But I have this video in which we're going to do something else. In the video here, we're going to listen to this guy and he's going to talk about the five R's of help desk. The five R's of help desk. What about those five R's of help desk? Each letter R is a process that we need to follow, in this case, to troubleshoot computers, right? So I'm going to play the video y ustedes van a poner atención a cada uno de los elementos que él va a mencionar, a cada uno de las R's que él va a mencionar, que corresponden cada una a una palabra, y traten de entender la idea de cada una de ellas, right? In your own words, ustedes las van a tratar de explicar en sus propias palabras eh, at the end of the video. So, let's see. I'm going to play this video for you. So let's see. Today we're going to talk about oh, all your horses. All right, so here we go. So listen, check, eh, and take notes, right? If you can, take notes. Tomen notas si pueden. So here we go. Listen. Today we're going to talk about the five R's of Help Desk. Stay tuned. 
Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Help Desk series video. Five R's are really important if you're looking to get into an entry level role in IT. These are steps that can be taken that will greatly improve the process in which you are troubleshooting things or just trying to figure out maybe what the next steps could be. So let's get into these right now with number one, Reboot. This is obviously one that is constantly being used, talked about, and most oftenly it is joked about. But honestly, rebooting your devices will greatly help in a lot of issues. There are times where you could be troubleshooting an issue for 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe even longer, and you still cannot come up with a solution on why it's not working properly. And I've experienced these situations firsthand, where I've spent an enormous amount of time trying to troubleshoot something, and it just did not occur to me to just reboot it. And after I reboot it, guess what? It works. It's so funny how those things happen. But there is a great reason why rebooting helps. It does clear out your memory, your cache, and things like that. And it just resets everything back to a normal functioning state when you don't have thousands of processes running or things just cluttering up your memory and things like that. So remember, reboot the next one on the list is if rebooting doesn't help your troubleshooting's not working properly reinstall and this is specifically relating to different applications and programs and things like that just reinstall it that's always a great go-to you can uninstall the program or application you can clear out your registry you can clear out any types of different cache that would remain within the system so any type of temporary files make sure you dump all those out and then reinstall the application a lot of times that does help it's just something to keep in mind as you're going through different steps of troubleshooting. You can restall different applications to try to fix the issue. Now make sure that you guys have a proper backup of some of the different files and other things that would be associated with some of these programs before you do a reinstall. The next one on our list would be replug reset. Yeah, definitely. I've run across many occasions where a keyboard just was not working and all you had to do is unplug it and plug it back in and voila, it works. It's like magic, right? But no, there are many other cases like that. We're just simply replugging a device or resetting a device will completely fix the issue. So be sure to remember if you're dealing with any type of hardware issue or other technology issue that you are capable of replugging, resetting it, because that is a very crucial step in your troubleshooting process. The next up on the list is almost your last ditch effort. If you're dealing with a machine that just is not cooperating at all and you think that re-imaging it will help, definitely re-image it. I don't know how many times I've run across this in the enterprise environments that I've been in where a machine just, it just does not want to play nice with you. You've reinstalled the program, you've reset everything, and you've, you've rebooted the machine 12 times, and it still just does not work properly. Well, the best thing that you could do is re-image it. Sometimes an operating system just gets corrupt, it just gets bogged down, and there's really nothing you can do about it except for re-imaging it and bringing it back to a completely brand new state. To go over the last one, this is the absolute last ditch effort if it is not working at all, and that would be to replace it. Replace the technology. Uh, sometimes you just have to do it. You have to make sure you go through all of the prior troubleshooting steps that we went over so far in this video before you get to replacing it because replacing it sometimes can be a process. You might have to get some different approval. You might have to make sure that you have other equipment available. And again, you might have to re-image that device and make sure that it is up to date with all of the different updates that have come out in the time that it has been sitting there. There's a lot of different instances that could be coming into play when you're looking at replacing a device or other technology but sometimes it's just what you have to do. And that's always the last ditch effort because it always kind of sucks replacing equipment, especially when you have a ticketing system you have to go through, an inventory system that you have to go through, you have to make sure that everything matches up, lines up, and it all makes sense. So I hope these tips right here helped you guys out as you're looking to get into the field or maybe you're already in the field and these tips help you. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any other comments, questions, or concerns, make sure you hit me up in the comments below as well. And as always, take it easy. Take it easy. There you go. So what was, well, this video was about troubleshooting, right? This is an IT guy, so he knows about troubleshooting. So what are the five R's that he mentioned are important when troubleshooting? What's the first one? 
Reboot. Reboot, very good. And what does it mean to reboot the device? In your own words. It's like a refresh and uh, similar to reset. Ah, very good. It's to reset something. If you're talking about a computer, for example, reset it, restart it, right? That is to reboot a device or even your phone, right? You can just reboot your phone too. Excellent. What about number two? Right. Um, uh -huh. Great style. Reinstall, very good. Reinstall. Reinstall. So what does it mean in your own words? Reinstall. Or when when do I when do I use this? In what cases? Mm -hmm. Have you had this problem before that you need to reinstall something? What have you reinstalled in your computer or in your cell phones? What do you reinstall? When the apps, it does not work. Excellent. That's a good example. When we have apps that they don't work properly, they are not responding, right? App, apps right in your cell phone so google chrome went crazy so i don't know what's what's going on it's not downloading something and i try to fix it i clear cache i clear whatever the memory that the that the app has and nothing reinstall right reinstall it if some well sometimes that might solve the issue good what is the uh, third R, number three? Replug or receding? Ah, uh, replug or reset, or reset, right? Replug or reset. So what does it mean, replug? What about that problem? What's the example that he gave about replug? Any ideas? So to plug is this, right? I have a cable and I have a cell phone. So I plug it, right? Right now it's plugged, conectado, right? So it's another way to say it's something is connected. But my cable is not working. No me agarra carga el teléfono. I don't know what's going on. Unplug it, right, and replug. Do it again, right? Oh, I see, ya agarra carga, right? So that might solve the issue. For example, sometimes our mouse or the keyboard, they stop working. Unplug it, right, and then replug it or plug it again. And that will reset usually the drivers that these devices have. So very good. What about the fourth R? Reimagine. Reimage. Reimage. Uh, uh -huh. Image. Reimage. Yes. What does it mean to reimage? Someone? Reimage. This was maybe a little bit too tech. The technical reimage. Reimage is when your computer, you already tried to reboot, you already tried to reinstall a program, if you tried to everything else. So you just have to erase everything, right? If this happens with computers, and even with cell phones too. But I guess it's more common with computers. Uh, when your computer is too slow or it's not open in certain software or programs, then you decide just to erase everything, right? We say formatear in Spanish, right? So we do that, we erase everything, we reinstall uh, 
the operative system, like could be Windows, for example. And we start from scratch. Empezamos de cero, again, right? So very important just to have a backup, right? And the last one, the last R, what was it? The last one, what was that step? Reemplaz or change, replace. Uh -huh. replace or... Exactly, very good. To replace, right, the technology, the computer, the cell phone, uh, whatever you're using, the tablet, replace it, right? With nothing uh, helped, nothing worked, Bye bye. Right. So it's time to let go and to get a new one. And that's the saddest part, right? Well, sometimes it's good, right? There you go. All righty. So one more time, these type of videos, real English, right? So this is the real thing. As you can see, this guy, he was just talking, he was just saying things in that way. He was not touching his heart to say, well, to think if you were going to understand or not. He was just speaking, right? As we regularly would do in an English conversation. So even his speed, it feels like if he's speaking fast, but he's using a lot of connections, contractions, and that makes things sound a little bit faster than usual. So listen to this type of videos, watch this type of videos. As you can see, you can enable subtitles in English, right? So you can read the subtitles, you can listen to it too. I didn't get, I didn't understand, listen to it again. I didn't understand again, listen to it again. If, try, right, try to do it. And you can look for this type of videos, on YouTube, right? So um, they're not hard to find. I mean, it's just people talking. So it's really not a big deal. So there you go. Yes. La dirección del muchacho. No, del, del video. <laughs> okay. Es que, es que yo, me admiraron todas porque yo solo te quiero y le entendí. <laughs> El final, te quiero y sí. Solo eso. Y cuando dijo <laughs> understand. <laughs> ah, ya lo vi. Yeah, IT career questions. So he's got a blog, right? He, where he actually talks about technology. So you can find it like that or by the name of the video, right? Information technology. So there you go. Thank you. Nice. Excellent, my pleasure. All right, now, just something for you to get an idea on how to develop listening skills. Now, if we go back to this uh, topic, um, before we continue with this, I have a little uh, practice for you. So let's see. All right. So since we're talking about troubleshooting, right? So we're talking about troubleshooting. So I have this worksheet in which you will determine or you will put into practice some steps to provide a tech support, right? So let me see. I'm going to share this link in the chat. And there you go. All right. So there you have it in the, in the chat. And I'm going to share my screen so that we can revise it uh, together first. So here you go. So here you have some vocabulary related to troubleshooting. Uh, for example, here you will find like some different exercise. In the first part, you need to match the problem with the possible solution. So you're going to work in groups here. So let me see. We are, okay. So we're going to work in trios for this one. So let me see. Well, most of you are going to work in trios. 
So we have, wait. All right, so in group number one, we have Blanquita, Carlos Javier, and Karen. So you're going to be working in group number one. Group number two, Carlos Antonio, eh, Grisel, and Nelson. So you're going to be working together. And then we have a eh, group number three, Ana Beatriz, Omar, and Oscar. So your group number three. And then we have group number four, Christian, Jose Eduardo, and Maria Elena. All right, so you're going to be in group number four. So as, you, as I was telling you, there are different exercises here. The first one is just matching. The second one is completing in the spaces with the words that you have here. So you're going to check the context and you're going to use the word that you think is the more is the most convenient for each of the sentences that you have there. So you're just going to type it. Aquí la van a escribir. No la, no la vayan a arrastrar porque this is just, uh, it's not to interact, right? It's not an interactive button. And in the last part, uh, he, you, need, you just need to circle. Like in this case, it's a circle, the three keys you should, uh, that should be pressed on the keyboard. Uh, just mark it, right? Aquí dice, encierre un círculo, pero solo la van a marcar, right? So this is something very common that we do. Uh, task manager is el organizador de tareas, right? Cuando queremos cerrar una, una aplicación en la compu o algún programa, Hay un cierto comando que presionamos por ahí. So that's the thing. And uh, here it's uh, an open question, right? Give two ways to wake up a computer which is in the sleep mode. Sleep mode, eh, en algunos casos lo llaman ahorro de, modo ahorro de batería, que es cuando se, se apaga, que queda como un modo ahorrativo, se apaga la, la pantalla, Pero está encendida la compu, right? This is sleep mode. So, how to wake up a computer? The easy stuff, right? So, there you can just write a sentence, right? Really short explanation. And once you finish, you click where it says eh, terminado, right? Eh, so that I can receive it. And the same thing, eh, así como me lo han mandado, eh, me ponen los nombres de las personas del grupo. Eh, just the first name, that's fine. Curse, this is going to be a basic five, right? A subject, there you go, English. And my email, which is this one, a rollandstone06 at gmail.com. Se lo voy a dejar igual el correo en el chat. Eh, Para que lo tengan ahí. All right. Okay, there you go. Me, well, you haven't been a good classmate today, Maria Elena. <laughs> nah, that's okay, Maria Elena, don't worry. Okay, so I'm going to start with the breakout rooms. Once we come back, we are going to check the answers as well. All right, so let's see. I'm opening the rooms. So you can join the small sessions right now. You will have 10 minutes to complete it, all right? 10 minutes and then we come back. Blanquita and Carlos, let me know if you have problems. Because Karen is already there in the group.
If not, I'm gonna move Karen to group number two. There you go. Blanquita, can you hear me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, la voy a cambiar a otro grupo porque me toque. creo que también Carlos tuvo problemas. Sí, so, de acuerdo. Bueno, yeah. he tenido mal el Inter ahora. Sí, así No he claro. escuchado nada. Casi ya no fallado. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Por ahí la pasé okay. al grupo 5. Ahí okay. le va a caer la invitación. Grupo 4, perdón.
José Eduardo, can you hear me? Teacher, no, es que me conecté de la computadora también. Ah, Aquí estoy. <laughs> ah nice. Thank you. <laughs> ah, okay. Good, good. So you're working with them, right? Good. Okay, teacher. Okay, nice, nice. Nice.
Okay, okay. Let's see. How was so? How was it? Easy, difficult, so so, more or less. Piece of cake. So so. So so. All right. Let's check it together. Let's see how this should have gone. So in the first part, we have the problem and the solution. The first problem, no sound, it's already there. Make sure external speakers eh, are properly plugged in. So what about problem number two? The printer has a paper jam. Remove jammed paper, close jammed. printer, and try printer. Excellent. There you go. So remove jammed paper, right? Wait, wait. Um, where does this thing? Oh, there you go. So, ah, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, there you go. The printer has a paper jam. Paper jam? Cuando se queda atascado el papel, right? In the printer. So that's paper jam. Okay. Very good. What about letter C? The computer freezes and will not shut down. The computer freezes and will not shut down. Will not shut down. What do Is you think? Is this teacher uh, press a key on the keyboard? Uh huh. Oh, sorry, no, okay. Press the key on the keyboard? Uh, the so, keyboard to what's, what's that to wake up the computer? Wake up the computer. Hmm. Press a key on the keyboard to wake up the computer. Not sure about that one. Any other choice we might have here? Alguna otra opción? Or do you think that's it? What does the rest say? Any other opinion? Mm. O todos seleccionaron la misma. Press a key on the keyboard. Mm. Letter, the first, unplug the power cable. Cable? Cable? Uh -huh. Cable? Cable from uh -huh. the power socket. Ah, there you go. I guess this one is more like it. Um, since it says that it will not shut down. Queremos apagar la computadora. O sea, está trabada, como decimos. It's free, it's frozen. So then we need to unplug the cable, right? So that it can turn off. Para apagarla, ni modo de desconectar el cable, right? So. Not that recommended, but that's the, the solution in that case. So very good. What about letter D? Wireless mouse is not working. Change batteries. Change batteries, exactly. So if the mouse is wireless, O sea, que no es de cable y no funciona con energía solar. I don't think so. So you need to... Within the wheels. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. So if it's wheels. not working, check the batteries, right? Maybe you need to replace them. So nice. What about letter E? My computer runs slowly. E, teacher, scan your computer for viruses. For viruses. Very good. Scan your computer for viruses. Good. Scan your computer with virus. Very good. Nice. And the last one, the screen is blank. 
of course, this one, right? Press any key on the keyboard to wake up the computer. Probably that blank screen is the screen saver, right? Uh, what you're seeing. So if you touch or if you press any key, any key on the keyboard, uh, then it's going to wake up, right? So there you go. Nice. So this was the first part. Then we had uh, here, we needed to use some words. So it says, letter A, the process of identifying and resolving a problem. That is called... Yeah. Or uh -huh. it's in the late teacher is somber, somber shots. Troubleshooting, right? Troubleshooting. Uh, troubleshooting. That's, troubleshooting. That's true. Troubleshooting. Excellent. So this one, troubleshooting, right? That's what we have been talking about. The process of identifying and solving a problem. What about no, well, letter B, let me see, Jose Eduardo. Yes, teacher. What about letter B, Jose Eduardo? What's the answer? Uh, S, sound, teacher. Sound, very good, nice. So if you cannot hear sound, check the volume level. Very good, nice. What uh, about letter number three? Uh -huh. <laughs> No, oh, no, no, go ahead. <laughs> ya me piqué. It's on fire. <laughs> no, it's on broma, uh, You just, yeah. you just, uh, all right. No, yeah. don't worry. That's fine. Okay. Yes. So let's see. What about letter C? Um, Christian. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, letter, letter C is mm -hmm. a slow, a slow, a slow keyboard. Mm. Hello, sorry, sorry. Is a wire. Wire. There you go. Sorry. Wire. A wired keyboard must be correctly plugged into the system, right? Why un teclado eh, eh, alámbrico, right? De, de, de conectar. So that's a wired keyboard. Good. What about letter D? Let me see over there. Oscar, letter D. Slow. Slow. Slow down a computer. A computer, very good. So a malware may slow down a computer. What's a malware? It's like a virus. Exactly. Uh -huh. It's like a virus. It's uh, sometimes a program or a malicious uh, program there, right, in your computer, right? That's a malware, good. And the last one, Omar. Freezes. Freezes. Very good. If a laptop freezes, remove the battery to force it to turn off. There you go. And then we had the, the, the keys that we need to press to start the task manager. What are those keys? Uh -huh. Let's see. A control. Nice. Uh, is a alt. Alt. Y, y del, delete. De, de, de. Excellent. There you go. Control, alt, delete. Very good. And then we open the task manager. Good. Mm. And the last one here, give two ways to wake up a computer which is in sleep mode, volunteer. Uh -huh. Anybody? We must help. Uh -huh. 
I'm sorry? Doing class L. Can you repeat that? Win, window uh -huh. class L. Ah, yeah. the, the key, the Windows key, Windows key plus L, you said. Yes. All right, I didn't know that one. Okay, I'm gonna try it actually. What else? Very good. Any other one? Teacher is on click al mouse. Exactly. <laughs> Así yeah. le pusimos. Yes, Así that's le it. <laughs> okay, very good. We can click a, or we can say left or right. Uh, click a, on the mouse, right? Or move it, right? Move the mouse too. That sometimes it wakes up the computer. Another one, press any key on the keyboard. Nos daban una al inicio, estaba acá. Press a key on the keyboard to wake up the computer from sleep mode, right? So, ahí les le regalaba una al inicio. So, there you go. So that was good. So, as you can see, here you have a lot of vocabulary. So take note of all this vocabulary that it's helpful, right? Y tomen nota de todo este vocabulario les puede servir, right? We never know. So just take it into consideration, but good, well, a good job. Now, I'm gonna take attendance if for the last time. So let's see, here we go. Ahora le corresponde quedarse a Omar. Do you have the time, Omar? Yes, very good. Yes, excellent. Very good. All right. So let's see. Let's take attendance then. So we start with a, we wait. A Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Beatriz. A, then we have Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thanks, Blanquita. Uh, we continue with Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you very much, Carlos. Then we have Carlos Javier Crespin. Carlos Javier, I guess he lost connection. Uh, so we continue with Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Christian. Uh, next, Denise Grisel Grisuela. Present teacher. Thank you, Grisel. Uh, we continue with Ember Giovanni Polio. Ember, not here. So we continue with Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. I guess Sleeping. she lost. Uh -huh. Yeah, she went to sleep. <laughs> La perdimos, Elizabeth. All right. So next we have Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. Present teacher. All right. Thank you, Jose Eduardo. So we continue with Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos, are you there? No. No, missed in action. Juan Carlos. Then we have Karen Vanessa Murataya. Present. Thank you very much, Karen. Uh, then we continue with Luis Alfonso uh -huh. Martinez. Luis Alfonso, regresador del partido, all right. So then we have Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Maria Elena, I guess she was connected, but she might still uh, be working. So we have then Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Then we have Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. Thank you very much, Omar. Uh, then we have Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Thank you, Oscar. And Jenny Suleima Santos. 
Jenny not here. Okay, she got disconnected. So there you go, guys. Okay, so thank you very much uh, well, for being part of today's class. Uh, tomorrow we'll be starting a new topic, so don't try not to miss tomorrow's class. It might be uh, important, right, for the following uh, topics. So that's it. Have a good night. Thank you very much for being here, and I'll see you tomorrito. Good night. Good okay. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye. Teacher, bye -bye. la compañera María Elena no le servía el, el audio. Ah, acaba de reportar. Sí, sí, ahí lo estaba viendo. Dulce sueño, <laughs> dice. Nice. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. So let's see. Nos quedamos entonces acá con Omar. Just give me a second, yes. Omar. Okay. And that's it. Okay, Omar. Nice. Vaya, estos eh, minutitos, Omar, eh, prácticamente son para aclarar cualquier duda que usted tenga y eh, algo que tal vez no haya quedado claro, no solo de, de los temas que hemos visto, sino podría ser otras preguntas que usted tenga del idioma o de eh, dudas que hayan quedado de otros niveles. Y se vale, ¿verdad? So, you can ask pretty much any question that you have or any doubt y o, si, algún consejo para aprender, eh, para desarrollar alguna habilidad, lo que usted quiera, Omar. So, let's see. Ok. Ok. Teacher, este... Uh -huh. Bueno, se lo voy a extremar sí, en español porque sí, sí, sí. Eh, una, de la, una de las cosas, teacher, es que, eh, bueno, a mí me ha gustado cómo ha desarrollado la, la clase. Oh, nice. Bueno, yo le comentaba que, a, que mi esposa que, uh -huh. que el hecho que cuando usted nos, eh, al inicio dijo que era docente, le digo que cómo cambia la, alguien que es docente, alguien que, que pues se lo imparte por, porque quiere eh, darlo a comprender. Pero eso que hace al inicio, que hace de los juegos y todo eso, eh, es interesante porque eh, normalmente nosotros este, en las anteriores clases entrábamos, eh, como, como decimos acá en El Salvador, de un solo. Entonces, ah, ¿qué hace o no? Uno venía así como que, bueno, vengo de trabajo, tengo presión. Uh -huh. y, y entonces, eh, es, esta forma que se hace nos distrae y lo hablábamos con otros compañeros. Ajá. Ah, esto es interesante porque y quiere hacer no, el cerebro se activa. O sea, sí. A hacer esos jueguitos, Ajá. eso no me gusta. Y lo qué otro, bueno, teacher, qué bueno. Lo otro, teacher, que eh, pues nosotros no nacimos con el idioma. Sí. Entonces, uh -huh. este, se nos hace un poco, se nos dificulta porque igual tenemos presión de trabajo y queremos aprender. O sea, no es que no claro. queramos. Claro. Es, 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 nos cuesta un poco más entonces eso sí también se lo agradezco porque algunas veces cuando no he podido o no comprendo algunas veces yo le digo no hay día porque no comprendo lo que me está sí. o, 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 o si yo lo entiendo de una forma y probablemente usted me lo está diciendo eh, yo me encasillé en, en una forma me Ajá. recuerdo una vez que usted me decía este, eh, que estábamos en eso y decía, la, la pregunta era como, ¿qué debo hacer para aprender inglés? Uh -huh. Entonces yo decía, ah, yo debo estudiar mucho. Day, debo estudiar todos los días. Entonces Ajá. me decía como, eh, y yo me encasillé, bueno, si yo quiero aprender, quiero estudiar. Ajá. Pero se me decía como que había una forma de que, ¿qué no debería hacer? Ajá. Ajá. Entonces yo lo entendí como, si quiero aprender, tengo que estudiar. Pero lo que no debe ser para entender eso, después lo entendí como los tres días, era que yo no debía hablar en español, sino que solo en inglés. Ajá, pero ajá. lo entendí hasta eso. Sí, bueno, pero yo que entiendo que estoy diciendo bien la respuesta. Uh -huh. Y ahí me bloqueé, yo me cerré. Entonces, esas cositas, este, teacher, eh, sí le agradezco, como le digo, a pesar de que estamos en nivel 5, uh, al menos en lo personal, hay cosas que todavía me cuestan. Uh -huh. Y le digo esto porque ayer que estábamos haciendo unas las estas, lo de Simple, simple Present, uh -huh. eh, eh, 
y es y, y es y los otros que solo le pone es que es eh, siempre es simple present uh -huh. eh, unas me salieron pero otras no me salieron Ajá. o sea que es un punto deficiente para mí uh -huh. entonces entonces, esas cositas, este, teacher, eh, como le comento, a pesar de que ya estamos a un nivel de quinto, todavía hay cosas que, que a muchos nos quedamos. Sí. Ajá, ajá. Y, y, lo, y digo que muchos nos quedamos porque, como ahí van las notas, ¿no? ¿Quién está la parte uno? ¿Quién está compitiendo? Y, y, ajá, ajá. Entonces, hay cosas, teacher, que probablemente en el, en, de inmediato no las, no las eh, conozco. Pero después me pongo a estudiar, a traducir, y entonces empiezo a captarla. Pero en, en el momento que necesito responder, probablemente algunas veces se me, se me calma. Ajá. Y lo otro, teacher, que, que me ha gustado es el los de Baby Cabrón, porque este, nos da tiempo para desarrollarlo. Uh -huh. eh, y así podemos conversar con ellos. A, a ir en una forma detenida, creo que es un tiempo prudencial el que nos uh -huh. da. Okay. A medida que desarrollamos, porque creo que cumplimos y algunas veces hasta repetimos uh -huh. eh, cosas que algunas veces anteriormente, tanto tiempo, dijo, y nos quedábamos a media. Cinco minutos y así. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces eso, no, algunas veces eran menos, dos, tres, y no, no desarrollaba, algunas veces estaban practicando sobre la idea. Uh -huh. eh, cuando usted dice, miren, tomen de base este, este diálogo y ustedes creen uno. Entonces, y dos, tres minutos, no, no. Ya. Todavía no estamos, estamos diciendo, ¿qué nos dijo el teacher? Ajá. Entonces, eso Ajá. me ha gustado. Entonces, teacher, en sí, nice. sí, lo primero es que yo le agradezco y lo otro, pues, que, que me tenga paciencia. Ver, cuando <ríe> me quedo, oh, la sí, idea, que la, claro. La, claro. La idea es, este, me digo, no, igual seguir. Nosotros en la empresa iniciamos como seis y al final solo hemos quedado dos, que es Cristian y mi persona. <ríe> Entonces, mm. este, es una batalla, pero, pero <risa> ahora me he animado, porque ya estoy en este nivel y quieras o no, pues hay cositas que, bueno. que ya aprendí. Entonces, no, qué bueno, la, la verdad que, que eh, me motiva también escuchar que, que, que sienten eso, ¿no? de que, que, de que les guste, de que ustedes se sientan más en confianza. Eh, de hecho, yo soy del pensar de que, como usted dice, venimos del trabajo y puy, a venir del trabajo y venir a veces a, a que me estén dando todavía más, vea, más estrés en, en una clase, creo que no funciona así la cosa, no, no vamos a llegar a, a ningún lado. Y a mí me gusta eso, llevar como un proceso en el que nos divertimos, pero aprendemos, ¿ya? o sea, y llevarlo balanceado, en el que puede ser una clase en que podemos bromear también, podemos decir de repente algo chistoso, de a manera de que no, no sientan, ¿verdad? que no sientan que esto es muy pesado. Y Cher, lo que pasa es que, eh, para serle honesto, a pesar de que vamos en el quinto, en el quinto módulo, es eh, primera vez que, que, que hacemos este tipo de cosas, al menos en los grupos que yo he estado, no sé los demás, Ajá. pero es primera vez que nosotros entramos a estos juegos que uno Ajá. se va midiendo, que conozco, que no conozco, y en Ajá. una forma... Eh, indirecta uno dice, ah, estoy cometiendo este error, uh -huh. o sea, porque en esos juegos uno sabe, se van midiendo ah, no, aquí me falta, aquí me perdí todo. pero uh -huh. no, no es como que público ah, ah, exacto porque, porque se decepciona o sea, no, no se decepciona <risa> ah. esto, ¿no? entonces ahí uno se va midiendo en esa cosa y como ah. lo comento, es primera vez que yo lo veo y, y me agarra pues porque realmente creo que uno así va aprendiendo eh, uh -huh. Vaya, ahora lo que hicimos de ir armando pala palabras, eh, pues, son cosas que probablemente se van simples, pero para nosotros que estamos con, con la idea de al menos agarrar palabras, pues a nosotros nos sirve. ¿no? Y el, el sistema de que como humanos pues tenemos que competir, quieras o no, eso también ¿no? como que activa. Sí, bueno. ¿no? Ajá, correcto, correcto. Es lo, es lo interesante, eh, es, lo, es lo bonito de esto. De hecho... Igual para, para uno de teacher, ¿no? Es como de, pues, si yo vengo solo a, a decirle, a solo a, a explicarle, a leerle una diapositiva o una cosa así, hasta para uno es tedioso, siento yo. Y a mí me gusta hacerlo un poco más dinámico, más divertido, porque incluso a mí me sirve, ¿no? O sea, yo no siento a veces el tiempo. Y, 
y pues eso que usted dice, el, el, el punto de a veces de los juegos también es como de eh, darse cuenta de cuáles son las deficiencias. Por ejemplo, ayer que jugamos esto del Simple Present, cualquiera diría, o cualquier teacher tal vez puede decir, no, pues eso ya, ya lo vieron ellos, ya tienen que dominarlo. Pero cuando uno se pone a pensar, no, puede que hayan dudas, puede que en una cosa sencilla, aparentemente, haya un, una deficiencia o hay un vacío que no está de más repasarlo, ¿no? Eh, en un momento de, de, de diversión, digámoslo así, pero que al mismo tiempo me sirve de repaso. Eh, no darlo por Tiche. aceptado. Dice, eso que usted comenta es cierto, pero por eso le digo, el, el hecho de que usted tenga eh, esa parte o esa preparación, lo hace ver hacia, hacia atrás. Porque cuando uno lo, eh, lo capacitan, aún cuando hemos eh, ido a universidad, dicen, esto ya lo vieron. Entonces mm. yo me dedico a esto y voy hacia adelante. O sea, esto usted ah. ya lo debe saber. Si no lo sabe, averígulo por su lado. Ah. Y eso es cierto. Nosotros no hemos quedado... Hay, o sea, teacher, a nosotros nos gustaría tomar como el fin de semana o, uh -huh. o cuando quedamos de los eh, módulos de un lapso a otro, agarrar los libros y volverlos a estudiar. Uh -huh. Pero en eso nosotros aprovechamos a trabajar para tener estos espacios porque ya no los tenemos. Eh, eh, bueno, en mi caso, si, uh -huh. si yo en ese espacio no logro avanzar, cuando inicio el módulo, tengo que mucho pedir permiso porque tengo que avanzar en cuestiones de la empresa. Ajá. Entonces, no es que no queramos hacerlo, sino que sí, el sí. tiempo se nos... Eh, tenemos un tiempo limitado. Uh -huh. Entonces, esa parte es la que nosotros decíamos, lo hemos conversado con otras personas, es eso, porque me, nosotros decimos, eh, hey, ¿y esto cómo es? ¿Cómo se hace? Y nos decían anteriormente ya, eh, eso ya lo vieron en el módulo anterior. <risa> Entonces, digamos, sí, bueno, mi modo. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. La meta en aquel momento era que finalizar el modo. Uh -huh. Esa era la meta. Y sí. decir, ah, ojalá allá nos cambien, porque pues allá ojalá respongamos esto que, sí, que no quedó limitado. Uh -huh. Así que gracias, teacher. No, hombre, este... ya saben, la verdad que cualquier cosa, consulta, o sea, yo siempre estoy a la orden. Eh, me pueden escribir al WhatsApp, me pueden eh, en la clase, vea, mire, interrum interrumpa, me vuelva a preguntar si quiere que, que vuelva a explicar algo. Siempre, o sea, soy el tipo de persona que. No tiene problema con esto. Es, es correcto, y eso lo hemos visto. Teacher, nosotros anteriormente tuvimos un inconveniente con el anterior teacher, porque eso que nos da el, el sistema o, o en la plataforma sí nos ha sucedido en otro. Ajá. Y mm. este, este que, que nos lo consultábamos en el grupo, y a nosotros no, no, nos decían que no, y lo consultábamos personalmente, y nos decían que, que viéramos cómo lo hacían. Uy, Entonces, okay. el, 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 sí, sí, oh. el, bueno, a veces llegaron cosas así un, un poco pesadas, pues, porque uh -huh. que nos dijeran como que mi trabajo no es resolverle eso, o sea, nos quedamos así como, bueno, y entonces, pero como nosotros entendemos, pues, de que eh, este es un curso que digamos que no desembolsamos, Ajá. en términos económicos, mm, nosotros, entonces, no pero aún así, ya, no, no debería de ser la, la manera. <risa> es correcto, entonces yo veo que le escribimos al, al, al Watt o le escriben los compañeros. Este contesta, no, no se cierra. Y esta vez se tomó el tiempo para decirnos, miren, sucede esto. Uh -huh. Y en aquel momento, entre todos, decíamos, hey, ¿cómo es aquí? Esa? Y hay cosas que nos quedaban en el aire porque pues, no lo sabíamos. Precisamente porque la plataforma tenía esos errores. Sí, sí cositas que hasta, hasta, bueno, en mi caso, le encuentro bien ilógica en, en, a veces, ¿no? De decir, ¿por qué, ¿por qué no lo diseñaron? De una mejor manera, en el que pudiera aceptar más respuestas correctas, anticipando Correcto, pero, el problema. ¿no? Pero vaya, en este caso, ustedes son los teachers, son los, son los expertos. Digo, si algo fallaba en aquel, en aquel momento, pues decir, mi hombre, ¿qué falla? Y mejor sí. haga esto y ya. Ah. Pero no es como que. que <ríe> Ay, <tenemos> que <ríe> sí, no. Así que, tal, teacher, bien. gracias por esa okay, accesibilidad que tenemos. Oiga, y muy fino que igual Gracias. ya le tomé más. De lo no, 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 de lo no se preocupe. <ríe> Ahí estamos a la okay, orden. Teacher. Gracias, Omar, por sí, su sí, muy, muy amable, pues, I'll see you tomorrow then. Thank you, teacher. Ok, my pleasure. Bye bye, Omar.